This portion is brought to you by Tatak Excellence. Yan ang magaling! In the banana industry, you have to get as much advantage as you can to be competitive. So grab a seat and learn the management practices of Dizon's Banana Farm. There are two types of seedlings, suckers which sprout from a mother plant and cultivars which are grown in laboratories. Using cultivars has a lot of benefits. Dahil sa laboratory sila pinapalaki, only the best are grown at madaling na-eliminate ang mga may sakit, bacteria, at fungus. Ganun paman, suckers are more commonly used dahil mas mura ito at readily available sa farms. Ready your field by plowing it and making sure that it's rid of grass and rocks. Check that the soil is fertile. Bananas require nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. When the field is ready, dig a hole 10 centimeters in diameter and 6 inches deep. Plant a sucker or cultivar and cover the soil. Flatten it with your boot to avoid air sockets. Managing your farm should be regular and systematized para maging efficient ang costing, labor, and time management. Part of management is desuckering your plants. Pumili ng isa o dalawang sucker na maganda. Hayaan nyo itong tumubo dahil ito ang papalit sa mother plant kapag tapos na siyang i-harvest. Ang tawag sa mga sucker na ito ay followers. Ang magandang follower, diretso ang pagtubo mula sa lupa. Sword-like ang leaves. At maganda ang mga dahon. Kapag nakapili na ng magandang followers, tanggalin na ang iba pang mga suckers. Ang mga suckers na dapat tanggalin ay ang button sucker o ang tumutubong parang button o bulutong sa base ng mother plant. Isa rin ang water sucker. Ito ang sucker na tumubo mag-isa malapit sa inyong banana plant. Dapat itong tanggalin dahil inaagaw nito ang tubig at nutrients mula sa lupa. Another good practice is leafing. Now and then, ikutin ang inyong farm at tanggalin ang mga patay, naninilaw o sirang mga dahon ng halaman. Let the leaves fall on the ground as these will serve as mulching for your plants. Maglagay rin ang pataba sa tabi ng halaman, lalong-lalo na pagkatapos ng desuckering. Because of the damp and rainy weather in highlands, diseases and bacteria are more rampant. To avoid this, spray copper fungicide on the leaves of your plants. When your plants are 9 months old, lalabas na ang flower o puso ng saging. Saksakan ang puso ng saging ng insecticide para maproteksyonan nito from insects and other pests. Afterwards, mark the trunk of your plants to avoid redundant injections. When the last hand appears, your plants are ready for bagging. Insecticide is sprayed on the fruits so that during the next three months, hindi sila kakainin ng mga peste at lalaking malusog ang mga prutas. Before bagging the fruits, tanggalin muna ang flowers mula sa dulo ng saging at ang mga hands malapit sa puso para mag-concentrate ang quality of growth sa remaining hands. Pagkatapos, Putuli ng puso ng saging at markahan ito for bagging. Cover each hand with plastic.
Pagkatapos, magtali ng dyaryo sa top hand to make sure that rainwater will flow down. Then cover the whole bunch with plastic to protect them from insects, bad weather, and other elements. Each bag bunch should be tagged. Each bagging day has an assigned tag color. This way, madaling i-manage ang schedule for harvesting. After bagging, maglagay ng bamboos to support the plant sa pagbigat ng mga prutas. After around 13 weeks, ready to harvest na ang inyong mga sagi. After three months, maghanda na ng at least three people na mag harvest na mga saging. Have one person notch the trunk of the banana plant on the side na bumubuhat ng bigat ng prutas. Kusa itong babagsak at susuportahan sa balikat ng isa pang tao. Cut off the base stem of the banana bunch and let the supporting person carry the whole bunch to the truck. Isabit ang bunch at isa-isang i-cut off ang bawat hand ng banana. Pile the hands on the truck and make sure that they are well padded to avoid bruising or ruining the fruits. Meanwhile, cut the mother plant in the middle. Huwag itong putulin hanggang sa base dahil magagamit pa ng followers ang nilalamang tubig ng mother plant. Chop off the leaves and trunk na maaring magsilbing mulching ng mga followers. As time passes by, unti-unting putulin ang mother plant hanggang sa base kapag natuyo na ito. Kapag malaki na ang follower, i-cut off ito from the mother plant at i-replant sa available space. Tanggalin ang mga dahon nito para mag-focus ang nutrients sa healing and growth at hindi sa pag-maintain ng dahon. Palibutan ito ng mulching na galing sa katawan ng mother plant at sa mga tinanggal na dahon para mapabilis at masiguro ang magandang paglaki nito. After 8 to 9 months, lalabas na ulit ang puso ng saging at panibagong paghahanda na naman para sa masaganang ani.